Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to start off with Marcus Peters. Brought his A game back. Didn't get to play in either one of the embarrassing losses to the Bengals last year. He made his presence known before, during, and after the game, and I'm just going to break down a little bit of what he did during the game to show you how he used his physical ability as well as his mental capacity to help uh, slow down and kind of box in that, that Bengals trio of receivers. I'm really just going to jump into it and um, I'll do the formalities on my, my other videos but just want to go into what Peters did and some of the things he did and, and how he kind of you know helped great game plan versus the Bengals to, to, shut, to slow them down the way we did and they were very impatient and um, Peters was a big part of it. But let's just start off right here. Very first play of the game, offensive play of the game. He's showing press coverage. I'm sorry, showing off coverage. But it's some form of man. Comes and can make the tackle for no gain. Actually, that's a, should have been a TFL because look where it's at. I don't know why the ref's back there. That should be a TFL. Watch how fast he trigger on this. Watch how fast Marcus triggers on this. Ball out, gone. Instantly. Instantly. That's a TFL. I don't know why he stayed in the same spot. I didn't realize he had a TFL. Just quickness. See it? Trust your eyes. Go. Already anticipating it. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Tried to muscle him. Jamar Chase tried to muscle him. He just stood his ground. Playing catch man. Playing catch man. Don't go anywhere. Stand your ground. Chase tries to kind of bully him off. Nowhere. Nowhere. Right in his hip pocket. Right in his hip pocket. The, the thing is, with this play right here, no panic. No panic. He knows the situation. The sticks are right here. First down marker is right there. He knows the situation, so he's going to kind of sit right there. Chase tried to push him off so he can come back to the sticks. Marcus held his ground. Did a good job of holding his ground and not panicking. Not panicking is the key. Holding your ground, knowing the situation, not panicking. It's a great job. Get him off the field. That was third down. Great job of knowing the situation. Let's go to the next play. Now, this is what, I, what he did all night long. And it kind of, I think it kind of confused him. Start off at this depth right here. Then at the last minute, once Joe starts going through his cadence, he comes up. So now if you if you if you see this, initially Burrow's gonna look to the right. Ball snap. He see him coming up now. He looks to the right. Whatever that was they were trying to do quick is not there. So now you gotta come back left. Because Peters took it away. Took it away just by changing, you know, changing the look. Pre-snap. At the very last minute. Because right now you think it's on. Thinking soft is on. Soft cover one. Now you got to press. Now you got to press. But the funny thing is. Everybody else still in zone. Everybody else still in zone. You got a one-on-one -on -one matchup right there. Great job Peters. And great job McDonald. And listen. I got to give props what props do. Great job McDonald. Because look. He, he playing man up here. Everybody else is on. Everybody else down here in zone. Got a deep third, or maybe a deep half, another deep half. I think he's gonna kind of like your cover two guy. These your hook curl players. He's sitting for that Tampa two look, and he a man up there. But you gotta have extreme trust in this cat to do stuff like that. Gotta have extreme trust. What I like about this is, and I, I know kids probably not allowed to see my videos, so I gotta turn it off. But if you got nieces, nephews, whatever trying to play football, see this cat right here in this white linen suit? That white linen suit right there? Use him as an extra defender. And that's what Marcus is doing. Use him as an extra defender. Now look, look at the space. So now it's two on one. It's the white line and Marcus versus the receiver. All right. Right there. Again, changes his leverage at the last minute. 
And they did a good job of just disguising stuff. Because pre-snap. Pre-snap. Looks like an all-out blitz. Let me go back even further. All right, like you, it looked like cover one. It looks like cover one. It looked like they got man, man, man. He probably got one in the backs. He may peel out the one in the backs for if they don't blitz. That's what it looked like cover one. Soft cover one. Now, stone coming up. Look like you're jamming the slot. Chuck starts to bail. Now they're switching to cover two with a, with a, with a blitzer. Switching to a two look with a blitzer. Now, how do I know it's cover two? Because look at Chuck go that way. Then you, you got other guy drop out. I don't know who this is. It might be Gino. No, it might be Gino. I'm not sure. Then you got Malik trying to get out to be an underneath guy. Queen trying to get out to be a middle guy. Always going to kind of hang up in this area and, and be a guy. And then you got Marlon uh, protecting the sideline. See, good job of Marlon pressing that in. And now if anything were to flow out here, Marlon would take it. But if nothing flows, Marlon just sinks. And see, nothing flows, so Marlon kept sinking. Nothing kept sinking. And now look at that. All this deep stuff covered. You got to take the check down. And now we just come up and make tackles. Now we come up and make tackles. Know the situation too. Look, I forgot to mention the situation. It's third and about eight. It's third and about eight. We covered everything past the, ten, past the eight yard line. They threw it short. We come up and make the tackle. Get them off the field again. Get them off the field again. All right, later on in the game, Marcus is at the bottom now on number 80. So, again, it could have bit him a little bit because of him waiting to see what – him looking in the backfield trying to see what Burrow's going to do. I understand what he's he trying to see and play heady. The one thing I will say is he's not fast enough to, to delay his reaction this long and then turn around with guys. Smart enough, yes. Fast enough, no. But – because he's so smart and he's so close to the sideline, he knows he don't have to go up there and defend that ball. Just push him out. He made sure he didn't land out of bounds. Smart play. Because he could have tried to go up there and catch the ball and 80 would have had a chance to try to catch it. Because 80 has it. So if Marcus Peters go up there, and he probably can't get up that high right now. 80 can try to toe tap. But Marcus knows as long as you don't come in with the ball, come down with the ball, we good. So I'm going to just push you on out and you wasted that effort for nothing. Smart. Smart. That's why once your physical abilities decline, mentally you got to be sharp. You got to be super sharp. And Peters is that. And passionate. All right, look at the line of scrimmage. Now press man on Hayden. On Hayden Hurst. It's the one play where they got him. They got him on this one. And I don't see what much more he could do. Hayden's a bigger guy, so he kind of pushes off. Look at Peters is right where he need to be. Right where he need to be. Sometime, no matter how good you play defense, the offense is going to be better. And again, I'll reference Steph Curry. You can stand in front of Steph Curry all the way around that three-point line, but he passes it off and pass it back and get it back by the timeline, your defense means nothing because he can shoot from the timeline. And this is the same thing. It's a good throw and a good catch. Almost one of them indefensible things because Peters is where he wants to be and where he needs to be, rather. Got one-on-one -on -one with Chase. Up at the top. Again, if the defender is going to just run wide right there, like this, and not try to stack, let him. Because, again, that man up there in that white linen suit, right there, that's your help. So now you got two-on-one. Just keep forcing him to that white linen suit. Keep forcing him to that white linen suit. And these throws, even though the Bengals make them a lot, they are very low percentage. Very low percentage. Even though the Bengals, they hit them a, a good amount of times, those throws are very low percentage, and you'll play the percentages. I'll play the analytics on it since we want to be analytical. I'll play the analytics on it. Let's go to the next one. Now, part of and this little series right here is what I think won the game for us. Despite what happened before, despite what happened after, this four-play series won the game for us, and this is one of the big plays in it right here. They got cute. And being in a couple of bingo spaces, they they were at the two-yard line and did not run the ball. At the two-yard line and did not run the ball. And so listening to Harbaugh, they said they were in some kind of coverage where they were passing off coverages and, and um, 
Marlon ended up being a free man. So when when Jamal went in, in motion, and he and they switched that off, now Peter's man was Burrow when Burrow tried to league out, and so he just I mean not Burrow when Boyd when Boyd tried to come back around. All right, he see Joe. So now this cat goes with Joe. He his eyes on Jay Moore. He see he sees Boyd right now in a taxi. He sees Boyd in a taxi. Great job of finishing. But what I want you to notice is look on the back end. The guy they really trying to hit is going to either be either the quarterback or number eighty going across the across the back of the end zone. Watch both of those guys. All right, now nah. it's over with Burrow because this guy that with him, even though Burrow trying to be none so long. Watch Marlowe and who is this? Marlowe and Pepe with number 80 locked in. Locked in. Marlowe avoids being picked off. Pepe right there in his hip pocket. So this this right here is double coverage. You can't go there. Can't go to Joe. You ain't going, ain't going to outrun him. So in the process of decision making, he gets the boom laid on him for a sack. He gets the boom laid on him for a sack. It's great defense right there. Great job of playing situational defense, which is some things we've struggled at. We play great situational defense here. Even the first play when they tried to lift pick route when Chuck Clark was all over Hayden Hurst. All right, so after that sack, they got a pass to Jay Moore that got him down to this point right here. Now, again, let's just watch Peters. Watch Peters. Watch him play smart assignment football and don't try to do too much. This is Peters' man right here. With everything else that goes on, watch where Peters, Peters mirrors his guy. Watch. Go, go in motion. He tells him to go with him. So he sees somebody. Bynes go with him. Why well, he locked in on 17 right now. Locked in. Locked in. The stuff going on, he, 17 move, he's locked in still. 17 go across, he's going to shuffle right behind him. Now, right there. They tried to show it to him. He stayed on his assignment. He did his job and was not fooled by any other stuff and was right there. Kalea's there too. But Juice Man right there where he needs to be because he did his job. Do your job. Trust that everybody else is going to do theirs. And stuff like this happens. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to do too much. Because you got extra. Kalea's beating his guy was just extra. They still wouldn't have got this off. Because Marcus was right there. Because Marcus was right there. And Marcus didn't try to hit him. He just tried to make sure he didn't catch the ball. So Calais beating his man was extra. But again, the smart, heady Marcus Peters played a great game. He, like I say, he didn't get to play in these games last year because of uh, being hurt. And they kind of embarrassed us with, with almost a thousand yards receiving in two games. Didn't come close to that this game. And, I, you know, part of that, I think a large part of that is to Marcus Peters. And so, um, you know, I was happy to go back and watch this. I got some more stuff I want to watch defensively, but this one is just dedicated to Marcus Peters. And, um, hey, man, y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys and thank you for tuning in after the roundtable. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. We'll